Hey. Did you know that um, just positioning the body in a certain way can create an emotional release? So I'm thinking about the psoas muscle in particular, and because it is our fight or flight muscle and it can hold a lot of emotional charge. Um, in general, it's a very defensive muscle and not an easy muscle to stretch. Um, any massage therapists who do psoas work, which not everyone does, know that it's also not an easy muscle to get into. One, because of the sensitivity, it's usually tight on people and so a little bit painful. Um, but because it's, it's just an area we guard, it's sensitive, it's, you know, you have to go through the abdomen to get to it, even though it's a back hip flexor. When I say back, I mean, it's connecting to the spine, it's moving through the hip and then going all the way to the back of the femur bone. Um, so it holds a lot, right? And I never realized how many people probably start yoga and may have emotional releases or maybe they don't have emotional releases. Maybe they hold back and realistically, if you're going to a place that kind of holds space and knows where you're at in your yoga journey and that you're new if they're doing a lot of hip openers um, that they prep you that sometimes you might not be thinking of something but emotions might come up right so when i i went to massage school and i was 19 i was really young and it was because i have a severe scoliosis and i wanted to avoid surgery and find another way to um deal with the pain I was having so we did yoga every morning for like an hour for six months and it changed my back dramatically I literally when I was doing a forward bend when I started at age 19 I was like this far off the ground for sure my fingers could not touch the ground Day after day, yoga, 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 I'm touching the floor, I'm feeling better, um, and decided, you know what, like, this is how I am with everything. The reason why I do something is because it makes me feel better, my pain, my body, probably the emotional part of the trauma I went through as a child. So then when I feel what it does for me, I want to learn it so I can give it to other people, so I can offer it to other people, so I can help introduce it to other people. So basically, I'm like, I'm going to go and become a yoga teacher, teacher, you know, I uh, came back to Michigan from Florida, because I was doing my, tr my massage training in Florida, because it was licensed there already, come back to Michigan, this is in 1997, went to Johnny Kest, like, I'm gonna go through your teacher training. And because I didn't have as much experience with yoga, I was only practicing for six months. You know, he met with me, interviewed me. He's like, okay, come in for the first day and then we'll decide. After, I don't even know, maybe it was like six hours of yoga, <laughs> like in that first day of training. Um, and a lot of it was on the wall doing hip openers. I came home and I could not stop crying. I'm not kidding. Full sobbing an hour and a half like wondering what the hell is going on oh my god I, I just couldn't stop crying one it was difficult to get through that six hours because of the limitations of my body and of course we were really being pushed um, but it opened up something that obviously had been you know held in my muscle tissue for a long time and and got a chance for those emotions to come up. But no one warned me about this. I had no idea. I was like, this is crazy. I don't want to do this training because I'm not ready for it. Listen to part two. I'll be back. <laughs>